The next song that I'm going to play is a little love story, a song that I wrote in my first year. And um, basically, I don't know if you guys have ever read The Metro. Do you yeah, all the, the time. Metro? Oh, the best thing about The Metro is, of course, the, the dating bit. Like This where, this is what is it's inspired by. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, the Rush Hour crush rush hour in The crush. Metro. How good yeah, I where, for anyone who has not, Red Metro, it was basically. It was like, oh, the guy in the red jacket on the central line, just going past Lan Lancaster Gate at uh, 8.30 in the morning. I, I really love you. I think you're amazing. Uh, but, of course, the tube is such that you never do the same <laughs> journey like over don't, and over again. Don't make again. too much fun of it because this is by the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, it is, it is funny. And then basically there's a there's a, pay, a Facebook page equivalent to this um, at like the university that I've just studied at um, in Cambridge and they people do these similar things you, you post anonymously uh, like to the person in this library because as we've seen everyone in Cambridge is, is a bit of a, a bit of a nerd and so people post like the person in this library uh, sat there at this time like do you want to go for a coffee and some people tag their friends in the post and I thought, I just wondered if anyone ever actually, if anything came of any of these posts. And in the Rush Hour Crush, you do sometimes see people mm. replying, like saying, the person who wrote this one, like, w was it me? Like, I, I don't know. And That's then right. I'd there be, are I'd, those moments. There are the replies. And so I just thought what would happen if someone actually did manage to get in touch via one of these Rush Hour Crush or the Facebook page in Cambridge. And yeah, so I wrote a song envisaging two people trying to find each other on one of these things very yeah. sweet i mean i've not read the metro for a long time but rush hour crush well i actually i've got a colleague it's always talking about rush hour crush she just thinks it's brilliant and it is kind of you read it and you kind of think will somebody ever write about me and this little yeah, weird exactly. thing that goes through your head <laughs> yeah exactly but then if somebody did write about you wouldn't it be strange like you wouldn't you think oh well, you know somebody's stalking me yeah, well, so it, it has happened. So in Cambridge, you always tag your friends um, on the, in the comments, like, oh, this one could be about you. And usually it's kind of a tenuous link. Um, but when you find one that you're like, this is definitely about this person that I know, um, that's really fun. And I have actually received some, mainly because I played this song at a university uh, big event over the summer, which was a replacement for like all the big parties that happened at the end of the year that were cancelled. And yeah, so I've had I've had a few, but not on the Rush Hour Crush. I think that's more of a feat because there are a lot of people, as you say, on the tube um, every morning, and not so many people studying at university. But... Sweet. So you're actually saying that that you got together with somebody, or some? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I just had an anonymous person, uh, or more than one, typing into this. I guess a Google form or something to express their um admiration of the, i think of the song probably i don't know well that's very <laughs> sweet very sweet well, but it anybody, is quite weird as you say yeah if anybody on facebook live tonight wants to actually uh say their undying love for susie dobson then please do uh susie what's the song <laughs> and the song is called from the girl in the red dungarees from the girl in the red dungarees. Susie Dobson, take it away. <laughs> to the boy in the Waterstones Cafe today You were sat with your laptop till three And the light in your eyes turned my heart the wrong way From the girl in the red dungarees Not sure, but it might have been me. I was wearing a scarf that was yellow and blue, and drinking a peppermint tea.
To the boy with a scarf and the light in your eyes Sipping your peppermint tea Do you think that perhaps you might just find time To go for a coffee with me? Oh red dunger ego, please tell me your name Though I'm afraid I don't really drink coffee But since I suspect that we might feel the same Would you settle for biscuits and tea?